Uh, this is a Disney game, right? Yeah, alright, boring comparison. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone between, and welcome to this! What is this? This is the Haunted Mansion for the PlayStation 2. I've wanted to let's play this fucking game for literally years. Shut up! I'm only ever popular when I record. I really, I fucking, I hate, I hate life. Not literally, obviously. Uh, but, you know, more in the sense that it's funny to hate life on the internet, apparently. Uh, Tortured Souls, this is my favourite bit, you go to Tortured Souls, and it plays <laughs> the credits of the game. Um, which I think is a funny joke that they made, anyway. Uh, it also gives us a more interesting background. Hopefully it keeps moving. Yeah, so what is The Haunted Mansion? It is a game that is based on... I'm actually... right. Now... It might be based on the... It might be... Re I say based. It might have been released at the same time as the Eddie Murphy movie. But... It has nothing to do with the Eddie Murphy movie. Because it's actually effectively scary. Um, I mean that. Honestly, I played this as a kid and it scared the, it scared the hell out of me. Um, and even now, I still think there are, there are many parts of it that are quite good at being atmospheric. Um... I'm kind of fearful to come back to playing this game, because I'm a massive pussy. But regardless, uh, let's... Is there an option for subtitles? Uh, for the... Whoop. Is there an option for subtitles for the... Uh, oh, I keep... I can't do shit right. I apologise. Nope. Okay, guess not. Let's make, the, make it a bit brighter. That's fine. So, let's uh, crack on with a little bit of a... Haunted Mansion, uh, and I'll explain more about the technical problems I had with the game uh, after the plot, which will happen normal, please. Uh, now, as a lifelong author, I have often drawn inspiration for the more chilling of my tales from my own experiences as a young man living in Louisiana after the Civil War. Oh, but the story of Ezekiel Halloway, that I have not dared tell before now. In October of 1879, Zeke was unmarried and ever the dreamer. Years spent in orphanages had taught him nothing if not self-reliance. But the endless struggle to find employment increasingly took him beyond the outskirts of New Orleans itself even into the surrounding unfamiliar countryside. So it was that on this particular cold and dreary afternoon, he found himself at a rather remote and mournful estate, inquiring about the position of assistant caretaker. Young beggar, more likely by the looks of him. I, beggar or not, we ain't in no position to be choosy. Do you think he's ready for something like this? We'll see how he holds up under fire soon enough, I reckon. Enough already. Let us introduce ourselves. Ah! I, that's gonna leave a mark. Hurry now, she will be expecting him. He's back! Oh, I hope he's feeling better. Ah, I told you he'd be on his feet again in no time. Come, we have done our part for now. She is on her way. Awakened now from troubled sleep, you find yourself where shadows creep. The mansion hides its history, but solve you will this mystery, and find the truth that's buried deep beneath these halls where spirits weep. Oh, I, child, am Madame Leota, speaker of the spirit world, medium of the mysterious, and Seeker of things unseen. <laughs> I know why you're here even better than you do yourself. Assistant caretaker it is. And you are Ezekiel. But you prefer Zeke. 
We couldn't just have the newspaper ad read, Wanted, brave soul to rid haunted mansion of evil spirits, now could we? <laughs> if we had, you wouldn't be here now. And the fate of this house and all who dwell within it would be sealed forever. This house was once home to many friendly ghosts, but a powerful, evil man named Atticus Thorne has taken over the estate, corrupting the memories of many of the ghosts and turning others into evil spirits to serve his will. Our beloved mansion has become a dark and foreboding place, and we are now Thorne's prisoners locked within it. But our hope lies with you, Zeke. We need your help to defeat this evil and to rescue our ghostly friends. An ancient artifact will aid us in this effort. A sacred lantern known as the Beacon of Souls. It is a source of light and power and can be used to battle any evil forces we encounter. Unfortunately, Thorn will also be using his dark magic to try and stop us. He'll be creating magical barriers throughout the mansion and twisting the very rooms themselves until we can turn on the lights and undo his spells. While not all of our foes fear the light, it will weaken the lesser evil spirits and force them into hiding. Once found, these shriveled souls can be chased from their hiding places and drawn into the beacon. Here. The soul's corruption will slowly be reversed, returning them to their good and former selves. As the good power of these souls increases in the beacon, their energy will enable us to break down the magical barriers that Thorn has erected. Then, we may gain access to more areas of the mansion. But there is more I have to tell. <clears throat> The primary source of the beacon's power lies in the six sacred gems that adorn it. They are called soul gems. Now, to keep them out of Thorn's hands, I had my ghostly friends hide five of them somewhere in the mansion. And the beacon still has one soul gem in place. This allows it to function, but very weakly. So we must find the other five to restore its power completely. I'm sorry if you find this confusing, Zeke, but I'm afraid we have little time and much to do. I'll ride along in your satchel, so hold it open and I'll just roll. Oh, oh wait, wait, oh, ugh, you don't need to. Fingerprints, watch the fingerprints. Yeah, I will do that funky thing, uh, miss. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but, you know, I'm, I'm here now, let's do it. Anyway, so, yeah, I think, from my understanding, and again, I might be wrong, so someone please do comment in the description if I am. Uh, in the description? Bleh, comment on this video if I am wrong. Uh, but, I'm pretty sure... Okay. I did need to remember this. Okay. So, L1 is fire and mash R1 to shoot... Uh, L1 is lock on. Um, I think this is kind of a mix between the film and the actual idea of the Disneyland ride, the Haunted Mansion. Um, no idea. Again, yeah, if you know, please tell me. So your life bar is instead your bravery meter, which is, you see there, is getting bigger because the lights are on, so I feel a lot more brave because I'm less scared. And yeah, when the lights are on, you have to go up to things and see if they're pulsating like, like so. Press the button. The souls come out, you trap them, mash the button to... Yep. Uh, that never actually works all the time, though. It always seems to grab multiple, but never all of them. Slightly frustrating, really. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Let's have a look down here, shall we? Uh, so, yeah, the ball lake that I got for trying to get this game to work has been unreal. I have tried this on multiple PlayStation 2s. I have tried this now on a PlayStation 3, which, yeah, you death certificate, you got to collect those. Um, which has worked, as you can tell, because this video is actually playing. Um, 
which it's just been frustrating. It's been a difficult experience, but one that I want to do because I really wanted to play this game because, as I said, it's a very atmospheric game. This, it, like, if there were a type of game that I have nostalgia for, but in the weirdest way, it's games like this and old, like, yeah, you can break down the, yeah, when we have enough, yeah, it says like 15, so you have to find that many, uh, you'll find them around the house. Um, I, bleh, I was making words, but now I've forgotten because I was being informative. That's how competent gameplay videos work, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got all that, great. Um, it, it changed, uh, when I was trying it on, like, PS2s and stuff, it changed the, um, oh, uh, See, there's like a little. Goodness gracious! I ain't never seen a storm like this. Oh. Yeah. If there were a type of game that I had like nostalgia for. Yeah. Okay. But in like a really weird way, and I'd happily admit it was weird. It's games like this where like audio stops to play sound clips, um, Bugs and Taz, uh, no, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time is kind of a similar one, because when he talks, the, the audio cuts out, and they build atmosphere in a good way, at least this game does, and nowhere does in that, uh, example that I showed you, and oh, that was frightening, what's that thing, I have beaten this game before, but I don't remember, I remember, like, the first few rooms, because they were the rooms I got really stuck on, um, but not, I don't know a lot about this game really at all. So let's. Oh, our meter is shrunk because we are incompetent. Let's walk up here. Oh no! Oh no! I knew that was going to happen. Don't worry. Um, what's great about this game, actually, I say that. Yeah. Well. So yeah, if you're stuck, you know, basically it's all sort of puzzles. You have to solve puzzles in different rooms to, um, to, whoa, to progress and to collect more shriveled souls and turn on all the lights and save everybody, which is not going to do wonders for your power bill, got to be said. So let's have a hint here. When the easy way you cannot climb, a crooked path could save you time. Okay. So as a kid, again, this stumped me because kids are fucking dumb. If you're a kid, you're probably dumb. Don't worry, I was dumb as a kid as well. Everyone is, you'll grow out of it. Uh, the easy way... Oh, we cannot climb, but there was a card there. You see, I've played this game enough times. Uh, or at least this level enough times, because as I said, I never really beat it. Uh, I love the way he jumps as well. It's just a fun little jump. Uh, oh, something fell in front of that picture. Why, it's a path. And the picture's crooked, but also the path itself is crooked! Puns! This, the hint works on so many levels! Uh, let's fix that and have a little plot. Oh no! What has happened here? Let's follow the path! Um, it's... It, it's a weird game. It is a weird game. It's quite cheap, I think. It's it's cheaply made. It hasn't got like a super budget by any stretch of the imagination. This was definitely not a triple A game when it came out. But I like it. I really like it. It's charming, it's atmospheric, it has a lot of elements that big budget and huge games, even to this day, still can't nail. And I think it's genuinely pretty pretty bloody good in its own right. So let's flick the light and... Oh no, the stairs are fixed. Hooray, hurrah, hooray, hurrah. Let's pick up the souls. Um, have a look around. You pick that up. That's some bravery potion which apparently exists. Um, like, no, genuinely, apparently you can buy something that allegedly makes you braver. Ah, another piece of the death certificate. It forms one of the ghosts that we saw at the beginning and they help us on our quest. They're very important, um, and again, dumb Small Lewis didn't really understand that because Small Lewis was dumb. Um, so let's clear this room, save the game, and call that a part, because everyone is now up to date with the uh, plot of this game. And again, 
if anyone actually does know if this is anything to do with the Haunted Mansion ride at Disneyland, because I, I have never been on it, never been to Disneyland, want to, never have, too poor, uh, by all means do let me know, shoot a comment in the old doobly bars downstairs, that'll be fun, ooh, what's this? Well, one of those things is true. I guess kind of the other thing as well. Save you time later. Activate the grandfather clocks you find throughout the mansion to save your game progress. It literally saves you time, if you, if you see. Um, it's quite clever in that sense. So let's save the game. Save completed. And on that note, I would like to bid you all farewell for now. So I'll see you in the next exciting video. Next part of let's play The Haunted Mansion. Bye! I promise I wouldn't say bye anymore, but it's been so long since I made a video, and I literally forgot that I'm not allowed to say bye. But I said it now, so we're here.